Welcome. This short video will show you how you can parse and classify log messages with the Pattern Database feature in SyslogNG. What is the Pattern Database used for? First, it allows you to parse log messages to extract interesting information like usernames and hostnames. Secondly, you can classify log messages based on the content of the message. For example, you can classify a login failure as a violation. Finally, using the artificial ignorance principle, the pattern database classifies anomalies and violations, ignoring recognized patterns. These functions help lead to quicker investigations and generating reports. Let's see how it works in practice. If we look at an SSH login, we see that John successfully logged in on a host with a specific port. The parsing rule extracts values that are defined in a rule set. Variable values, which are denoted in red in the log message, are bracketed by at signs. Parsers are an important part of the pattern database. They look for characters in specific formats, like a series of integers or IP addresses. These include strings, numbers, and float, which recognizes numbers with decimals. IPv4 and IPv6 addresses are also included as default parsers. There are more default parsers available at the link at the bottom of the screen. Why use the Pattern Database? The Pattern Database can be used in place of regular expressions. It has many advantages over them. It's easier to write and maintain patterns. You can see the previous pattern example has been written in a regular expression. You can also see that it is more complicated. It's faster and more scalable to use Pattern Database because it uses the Radex tree algorithm. Regular expressions check whole rules, whereas the Pattern Database checks each message and then finds the rules applicable, narrowing the list of rules as each letter is checked. Here is an example of a pattern for an SSH login. First we see the metadata, then there is a statement to set the patterns, and then the pattern itself. This example could be extended with additional information, like example messages and test values for easier debugging. Additional name value pairs based on message content can help further filter messages. Once a pattern has been written, it can be included in a syslogng configuration file. In this example, the pattern is used to filter messages that match the violation class, which is a string. All messages from the log source s underscore all will be filtered and the destination for the filtered messages is di underscore class underscore violation. In this example, classification results are used in multiple ways. The message class is used in the file name, while the rule ID, which matched the message, is used as the first column in the custom message template. On this slide, there are two examples how to use name value pairs parsed out from log messages. The first example shows a custom template, which only writes the extracted IP address and username into a log file. The second example requires at least syslogng 3.4 as it uses the JSON template function. It selects all name value pairs starting with .cee but removes this prefix from the resulting JSON string. The pattern database tool is used to help write patterns. The patternize option creates a pattern database from existing logs by finding repeated message patterns using statistical clustering algorithms. The test option provides troubleshooting for patterns by testing the pattern database for errors. And the match option matches a message or log file with a pattern database. Message correlation in syslogng operates on log messages successfully identified by the pattern database. You can extend the rules describing message patterns with instructions on how to correlate the matching messages. Correlating log messages involves collecting the messages into message groups called contexts. A context consists of a series of log messages that are related to each other in some way. For example, the log messages of an SSH session can belong to the same context. For more information on SyslogNG and the Pattern Database, visit us at bullabit.com. Thanks for watching.